Hello, my beautiful and shredded scholars. Today we're gonna to talk about Zercher deadlifts. We're gonna address the common myth that you cannot round your back under load, and I'm gonna teach you how you can build an unbreakable back. Now, the common teaching when it comes to deadlifts is that you have to keep your back perfectly straight and push the hips back, and that's how you do a deadlift. I would agree, this is how you do a conventional barbell deadlift. However, it's only training one position for the spine. And if we think about the different situations that our spines have adapted to handle, we're not always going to be in a fixed position. In fact, if you have to lift anything that's awkwardly shaped, you're going to have to round your back to get over it and pick it up. Think of a strong man picking up a Atlas stone. He has to round his back to pick it up. So when we only train in one position with this hyper rigid spine, we're not allowing for any variety. So when we're out in the everyday world outside of the gym and we go to lift something that requires a little bit of spinal movement, we're uncertain, we're not confident because we haven't practiced a movement that can correlate to that. Enter the Zercher deadlift. Now, in the beginning, it looks kind of odd because most people are not used to seeing deadlifts like this. But what gripping the bar in the crease of our elbows allows us to do is it allows us to get a much deeper position to start. So when we're moving lots of weight, notice my back is rounding and I'm standing tall. We're training spinal flexion. So I'm rounding my spine and I'm training it through a full range of motion. When we get strong at this exercise, it is tremendous the amount of resilience that we're gonna build within the spine, the amount of integrity that we're gonna have, and that carries over to every other exercise. If you get strong at Zercher deadlifts, your conventional deadlift's gonna go through the roof, your squat's gonna improve, your overhead press. Think of any heavy compound lift that requires the back for stability, even your bench press. Think of how much you're using your lats to stabilize your bench press. Well, if you train the Zercher deadlift, you can seriously overload the lats and that's gonna have carryover. So I'm gonna take you through a workout of mine that is trained, or excuse me, that is tailored towards getting strong at the Zercher deadlift. I'm gonna show you a little bit about the technique. As the weight starts to get heavier, the technique changes a little bit, but there's a few cues that I wanna to highlight to help you avoid injury and build strength as efficiently and effectively as possible. So we're gonna go ahead and jump up to a plate. And if you're having a hard time getting into the starting position, I recommend starting in a rack. So you'll notice I've got the bar set up at about knee height. And this helps for those beginning stages where you need the assistance to get down into that position. You probably don't have the mobility to just get there by yourself. And what I mean by that is this position right here. Can you get a close up please? When I start my Zercher deadlift, I start with my hands on the bar. I get down into this squat. Most people can't do this already. So starting in the rack is going to help you build some of that mobility. I pull the bar towards me, take a big breath, hook it. Now I'm using these lines of knurling to aim my biceps. Get it right there. Would you mind going to the side please? And then backing up. So from here, notice I'm rounded. I squeeze my fists, tighten my arms, and drive straight up like I'm jumping. When I control it on the way down, I'm sitting back. I want the bar just past my knees, back down to the ground. That's how you want your technique to look. What you'll notice is there's a little bit of hip elevation before the back engages and pulls the weight. That's how we're gonna train 
full spinal flexion and extension is getting as deep as possible on that first rep and from there exploding and using the back now start light this is not an exercise that you want to go okay well the bar felt good so let me jump to a plate don't do that start with small incremental jumps start with the bar once the bar feels good add five ten pounds each side and do that consistently as you build up confidence with the movement because it is an unfamiliar movement you're probably going to get some weird looks in the gym from other people like what is this guy doing i'm going to take off my shirt so you can see my back flex and extend a little bit better on this next set so to start the zercher i've got the bar out in front of me i've got a a stance that's just wider than shoulder width, toes slightly pointed out. I'm gonna sit back and down. From here, I'm gonna take a deep breath as I pull the bar in, hooking my elbows right on the knurling. From here, big breath, squeeze the fists. <clears throat> Drive up with the glutes, control it down. That's where I'm gonna stop. Once you feel like you can no longer engage your elbows, stop the set, take a little rest, come back for another set in about five minutes. This is not an exercise that you want to rush. What you'll notice is that the bicep is the limiting factor, so your grip with the bar and the crease of your elbow is going to give out before your glutes or your hamstrings. So just be patient. Over time, that will get stronger and you'll be able to do more weight. I guarantee that incorporating this into your routine is going to strengthen your back, give you more confidence in some freaky ranges of motion, and it's going to have a ton of carryover in terms of athleticism and explosive power. Thank you for joining me. I hope that this was informative, insightful, and that you'll put it to action. That's the important part. Take this information, apply it to your training. If you want access to my free fitness guide, it's called Centurion Strength. Check it out in the description down below. Show your support on this channel by leaving a like, dropping a comment, subscribing for more. My name's Shreds. I'll see you in the next one, and I hope that you have a blessed day.